Hello, Pi Ohio. It's my pleasure to be joining you virtually today to present Visual Studio Code, the ultimate Python developer environment. My name is Douglas Starnes, and I come from the Memphis, Tennessee area. I am a technical author published by Pluralsight and RealPython. I also organize Scenic City Summit and TDevConf. I run the Memphis Python and .NET user groups, and I am a three-time Microsoft Most Valuable Professional in Developer Technologies with a focus on the Python language. In November 2014, at an event in New York City, Microsoft shocked the world and announced they were open sourcing their flagship developer platform, .NET. In addition, they would be officially supporting it on Mac OS and Linux, in addition to Windows. The problem is, Microsoft had no development tools at the time for Mac OS or Linux. They only had Visual Studio on Windows. So they also announced Visual Studio Code, a free and cross-platform programmer's editor inspired by Visual Studio. A year later, Microsoft open-sourced Visual Studio Code as well. But Visual Studio Code is not just a .NET tool. It's not even written in .NET. It's actually an Electron application written in TypeScript. That's one reason it's able to target multiple platforms. It's exploded in popularity to become one of the most widely used developer tools, claiming over 130,000 stars on GitHub. If you are a Python developer, you should definitely check out Visual Studio Code. After installing Visual Studio Code, you might be puzzled what all the excitement is about. To be honest, the default installation is pretty boring. It doesn't do a whole lot. Just a text editor, integrated terminal, with Git support. But you can use this to your advantage as a Python developer. Visual Studio Code is unopinionated. It's like comparing Flask to Django. What gives Visual Studio Code its power are the tens of thousands of extensions in the Visual Studio Code marketplace that add and extend the application to fit into almost any workflow or toolchain. Some of the most popular extensions are for Python developers. To be exact, the three most downloaded extensions are related to Python, with the main Python extension being downloaded more than 60 million times. To get to .NET, you have to go outside the top 10 to number 13, and to compare, it has less than 20 million downloads. Again, the open source community, and Python in particular, have really embraced Visual Studio Code. What do you get with the Python extension? As you might expect, syntax highlighting, auto indentation, tab completion, and code hints that would be included with any modern editor. You can also see doc strings by hovering over parts of the code. One of my favorite features of the Python extension is the virtual environment management. You can associate a virtual environment with a project in Visual Studio Code using vnv, conda, pipenv, or poetry. Then when you open a new integrated terminal, it will automatically activate the environment for you. And it's smart enough to execute the correct activate script for multiple shells, including Bash and PowerShell. The Python extension also supports debugging applications within Visual Studio Code. Configurations are included for popular web frameworks including Django, Flask, and my personal favorite, FastAPI. And the debugging experience supports all the usual suspects like breakpoints, inspecting variables, and stepping through the source. If you are a data scientist or machine learning engineer, you'll appreciate the Jupyter Notebook support. So you can execute local notebooks or connect to a Jupyter server and access notebooks remotely. As you can see, Visual Studio Code supports inline display of data frames and visualizations. And support for unit testing is also included. You can use either the unit test module from the Python standard library or PyTest and see the results in the user interface or in the code itself. There are more features available, including linting support that will automatically notify you about syntax and style errors, PEP8 adherence rejoice, Visual Studio has you covered and I'm only scratching the surface. Visual Studio Code is a complete Python development tool. But there is more to an application than just the code. Applications are often developed in containers to make deployment simpler. Visual Studio Code supports an extension for building, managing, and deploying Docker containers. In addition to a user interface to start, stop, and manage images and instances, you can edit Docker files inside of Visual Studio Code with IntelliSense. Docker Compose support is included, and you can pull images from your favorite repositories. 
You can also connect to a Docker container and edit and debug your application without leaving the editor. Or maybe you prefer to work on a remote machine. With Visual Studio Code, you can connect to remote machines or virtual machines using SSH or a local VM manager like Vagrant. If you're on Windows, you'll love the support for WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux. It combines the power of Linux with the familiarity of Windows, giving you a seamless integrated experience that works across both file systems. You can even run Linux GUI apps, including those created with desktop packages like PyQt on Windows. Most of the screenshots you've seen today are from Visual Studio Code connected to Windows Subsystem for Linux. Not all of the code for an application is developed in Python. JavaScript and TypeScript are popular with front-end web development. Using extensions from the Visual Studio Code Marketplace, you can work on all the parts of a full-stack web application. Database administration and development are no worry for Visual Studio Code. Extensions for PostgreSQL, MySQL, MongoDB, Redis, and more are ready to assist. How about deployment? Microsoft provides and maintains a number of excellent extensions for Microsoft Azure, virtual machines, databases, serverless, machine learning, IoT, DevOps, and more. There are also official extensions for other cloud providers, including Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and third-party extensions for Firebase and Heroku. Git support is built into Visual Studio Code with extensions for GitHub and other online providers, and support for Mercurial and SVN can be found in the Visual Studio Code marketplace. You can customize Visual Studio Code almost any way you want. There are a number of themes in the Visual Studio Code marketplace, or you can roll your own. Create your own unique look with a combination of fonts, icons, colors, and layouts. Now, I've spent the last several minutes telling you about all the different options for making Visual Studio Code your own, but many times you're working on more than one machine. Visual Studio Code thought ahead and makes it easy to sync settings across installations by logging in with a Microsoft or GitHub account. When you install a new extension or change the appearance of Visual Studio Code on your desktop, it will be available on your laptop as well. Or maybe you don't need a laptop or a desktop. Maybe all you need is a web browser. GitHub Codespaces puts the Visual Studio Code experience in a web browser and gives you a Linux virtual machine tied to a Git repository. Most of the extensions that you use on the desktop will work in a GitHub Codespace, and many of your other settings will automatically sync. You can even configure Codespaces environments with extensions, requirements, and compute assets so onboarding new team members is a breeze. Working on a web application or API? GitHub Codespaces will forward ports from your application so you can preview and share your work through a browser. Worried about big bills because you forgot a Codespace was running? They automatically shut down to save you time and expense. You only pay for storage. It even works on tablets like the iPad Pro. GitHub Codespaces are still in beta for individual accounts, but are accessible by team and enterprise customers today. And there is so much more I don't have time to discuss. But Visual Studio Code is the real deal and affords many advantages to Python developers with a cross-platform experience. Go to code.visualstudio.com for docs, extensions, and more. I'd like to thank the organizers of Pi Ohio for inviting me to speak at this year's event, and I appreciate your time and attention. If you'd like to continue the discussion, please check out my link tree. Thank you, and have a great rest of the conference.